In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a medical subject heading search in PubMed. The first thing you must do in order to utilize the medical subject headings is access the MeSH database, which from the front page of PubMed can be done in one of two ways. The first way is to come down here to More Resources and click on the link for the MeSH database. But the more preferable way and the second way is to come up here to the gray bar and come over here to the drop down menu and drop it down until it says mesh. When you do this you're now ready to access the mesh database and so all you now need to do is to type in an, a term that you're interested in searching for such as obesity. Now when I put obesity in here unlike when you do a keyword search what it's going to search in the mesh database is the controlled vocabulary that's used in PubMed. So now what we're going to see are not articles, but a list of words that are relevant to the term that you've put in the box. In this case, what you'll notice is as it returns them in relevancy order, obesity is at the top because we typed obesity in the box. But there are other um, options here that may or may not be useful depending upon the search you're doing. Now if you want to access or you want to choose obesity, all you need to do is check the box, add it to the search builder, and then hit search PubMed. What you'll notice when you do this is you now have a set of articles in which obesity is discussed and it's being searched as a medical subject heading. Now if you would like to see how obesity is related to the intake of soda pop you can do the exact same thing as you did before. You can come up here to the gray bar, drop this down till it says mesh, put soda pop in the box and go back to searching the mesh database for the appropriate term for soda pop. What you'll notice in this case is that it doesn't return soda pop, but returns carbonated beverage. The reason this is is because when it comes to medical subject headings, one term may st stand for several terms. So in other words, there are what are called entry terms. All of these that you see in this list here are what are called entry terms, meaning if any of them are being discussed or um, are being discussed in an article, they're, they're all going to be classified under carbonated beverages. And since you see soda pop here, that is why carbonated beverage is showing up. So now if I want to select carbonated beverage to search, since I know that's what it's talking about, in fact, is soda pop and other ways of discussing or describing sodas, is I can come over here and hit Add to Search Builder. And again, you'll notice it says carbonated beverage, and it says mesh and I can click on search PubMed. Once I do this I now have a set of articles in which carbonated beverage is a medical subject heading. Now once I have this uh, before me I now want to make a relationship between carbonated beverages and obesity. I can do that by clicking on advanced because as you know clicking on advanced will show me my search history. Now you'll notice here's my search history and the way I can put them together is to click on add. I put the add here so you'll now see line 9 and 10 are in my search builder. Then I can come over here and select and or not. In other words try to make a relationship between them. Remember and or not are called boolean operators. In this case I want there to be a direct relationship so I'm going to select and and I can click search which will directly take me out to PubMed and show me the articles or I can click add to history and just have it run the search and add a line to my search history. Now remember if you want to access this from the, your search history all you have to do is click on the items found and say in this case 205 it will now show you that we have 205 articles in which obesity and carbonated beverage in this case are related to each other and so all of these articles in some way are talking about soda pop or some derivative of that and obesity. 
Now if I want to see the abstract of these, remember, you come up here to Display Settings, drop this down, click on Abstract, and then hit Apply. When you do that, you'll now be able to see the abstract when it's available, but the most important thing is not only can you see the abstract, but it's only in the abstract display setting that you can see this Get It at VCU button, which will connect you with our electronic resources. And if we don't have it electronically, it will also let you know whether or not we have it on the shelf. And if we don't have it at all, it will also allow you to go ahead and request it through interlibrary loan, which as a faculty, staff, or student is free to you. And that is how you do a medical subject heading search in PubMed.